Hey guys, this is Dan over from YouTube. There are Hidden Bigfoot Research Labs from YouTube. Sorry, my glasses are glaring up. So, I'm in a little bit of a predicament here. I got a squatter in my yard. Or what my parents yard, basically. On the property, we'll say that. We'll say that. Because, you know, a lot of things happen and go here. But, so, a couple days ago, I'm going through... And out of nowhere, I see this huge, like, baby chick in the, in the road next to the trash can. And it, it's like 100 degrees or 80, 90 degrees. Not, it wasn't 100, but it, it was like 90, 93 degrees, something like that. And I'm in Arkansas, just for any of this. And I, I'm making this video for a record. Uh, I do YouTube, and this just seemed like a perfect way to have a, a, a record for anyone who needs to see this. Because I'm trying to be legal here. But yeah, so anyways, I pulled into my parents' house and there was a massive chick on the ground screaming, just squalling, and uh, I might be able to slide a picture onto the screen right now in the editing software. Let's just see if I can do that. I called Game and Fish immediately because we have had bald eagles fly through and we've spotted one recently and wondered maybe if it was I don't know and it, we're, we live on the edge of a creek and it's like woods from us all the way to the river and we are the edge of society where I live it's nothing but fields woods and bottoms for miles and miles and uh, well depending on which way you go there's no there's no more wild hundreds of miles places anymore unless you're in a nature reserve but yeah so I see this big chick and it's screaming and I called game and fish and told them I got a bird I don't know what it is and it's on the ground screaming and I pretty much just wanted to call the bird police first thing off <laughs> you know game and fish bird police and they told me a couple things and then I they give me the guy's number or some guy's number down in Conway which is two three hours from here or El Paso something like that and he told me he was completely full he could not take the bird if I took it to El Paso he might be able to and then he backtracked and and just said man there's 20 calls a week this time of year from where the 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 birds I guess it's a stage where they're called it's called branching or something it's where they they kind of hop from limb to limb from limb to limb it's uh, before they learn to fly if I've done my research right but he says man it happens all the time I'm sorry nature will run its course don't touch it don't do much with it but if you did touch it that's a wise tale and the mother will either take it back or it's gonna cut its losses and just let it fend on its own and whatever happens happens and uh, and I told him you know hey man that, that's cool I understand nature is important you can't intervene and uh, I know certain birds are protected and that's why I called you first and then he told me well you know appreciated it and he told me it was a Mississippi kite fledgling that I had on my hands and I guess fledgling means baby bird but so here's what happened the bird walked around my yard for four hours with its with its wing like caught behind its head kind of like that like its shoulder just kind of hyper extended backwards and it, and it was in a bind and I never touched it I'll let nature run its course bird still here and then I finally just felt sorry for it because it was screaming the whole time and uh, when I googled what a Mississippi kite was it was a hawk and that's what it looks like is a hawk uh, I got a few pictures I'll try to put them on the screen I'm only talking right now so you don't need even you don't even need to see me but uh since he was full and couldn't take the bird 
The whole time this bird is screaming in my yard, and I can't hurt it. I can't just put it out of its misery. That's illegal. That's cruel. Don't do it. So, and I, I want to be 100% legal on this and lawful, which is also why I'm making this this video just for the record. Yeah, I'm, gonna shut, I'm just wasting battery here, and my face is all lit up. But yeah, so anyways, okay. That's day one of having this bird in my yard squatting. So after I called a whole bunch of other rescues and dog rescues, any sort of, I called the, the little vet, local vet, asked them <laughs> what to do about this bird. If anyone would take it, if, any, if anyone could help it. Uh, I mean, it's protected, so I hate to just let it die. And uh, but I, I like I said, na I'm letting nature run its course. And uh, I called all these rescues, and they told me that yeah, the touching it and mom is not taking it back was a wise tale. Birds are weird. As soon as like they'll consider something a lost cause, and they're just done with it. Don't care if it's healthy. Don't care what. The moment they say lost cause, birds done. Or mama's done with the chick and uh, so I'm calling all these different rescues all around the state anyone who might be like anyone who might know of someone to know of something to, to take this baby hawk this protected baby hawk out of my yard <laughs> I mean, but they told me everything like if I wanted to help it like what to do to it what to like, if I was going to feed it, what to feed it, like, they told me to try hamburger meat, raw hamburger meat, uh, bugs, stuff like that. And I never did find a home, but it was getting dusk, and I'm just like, okay, the bird's still here. Nature is not running its course like the game officials told me to. And I don't know if he was an official, just uh, the, the game and fish police told me, or the bird police told me to talk to him so I don't even know who where what what sort of office but uh, so yeah I, I finally just reached down and uh, finally touched it several 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 hours later of it just screaming and I mean I felt bad because I knew it was in pain so uh, I did help the wing and I didn't even do nothing all I did was just kind of bring its wing back around its head and just kind of set it back like where it's supposed to be and and then the next morning so the bird's still here and it's so cute it's it's pretty cool so I've got to call fishing game back and tell them look nature's not running its course the bird is still here that's why I'm making this video and and it's roosting for the night. I'm not going to show you. I don't want to get it all freaked out because, again, that's bothering the bird. Our laws are very, very careful about how they are about prote protected animals and species. And this is technically a bird of prey. And by no means do I want to keep it from being a bird. Because that's like the big law about taking them in as pets is they're not allowed to hunt. But when they become a pet, they're not out in the world, you know, being a bird and keeping down the uh, wildlife of other nuisance animals. I mean, every animal is a link of a chain of nature, if you feel me. And so, yeah, so I still got this bird and or in the yard. And then, like, today, I'm watching it. I'm just chilling out in the yard with it. Like, I can hear the mama hawk in the distance squalling, and it would squall, and they were talking to each other. The mama knows it's alive. The mama knows it's not hurt, but I, I haven't actually seen the mama. I've been watching for it. The guy on the phone even told me the parents knows exactly where it is and what's going on with it, and, you know, they got good eyes. I, I, they could probably see me from miles away. And I've, I've been giving the bird space. But it's been eating grasshoppers and it's been eating like a little compost out of the little pile and it's it's nothing nasty, I, I mean. And uh, so I guess 
since this wing is now straight and it's even moved its its wing the what the right direction you can tell it's it's still sore but it did move the wing the right way and I'm just at a total loss I mean I guess instead of trying to call the rescue agency next in the next day or two if the bird is still squatting on my property I guess I'm gonna call Game and Fish again the bird police tell them that nature is not running the course and I guess start talking about the permits or start talking about whatever because I, I don't want to get in trouble for being a victim of this bird squatting on my property but <laughs> this is such a crazy situation to even be in and it is so cool like the thing is awesome guys if, if you've never been around a baby hawk it is so cool so cool but yeah so uh, I guess I'm gonna talk to them and, and let and because as long as I'm letting them know I don't feel like they're gonna come you know find me or anything I mean I'm not gonna keep the bird I'm not gonna do nothing like that and we have we have a it's not a farm but we do like farm activities um, we've got like 40 acres out here and uh, so I'm cool with the bird just hanging out and doing its own bird thing I mean I, I don't mind a bit I don't want to use the word pet but it can be an outside friend here I don't mind but uh, so yeah I'm gonna load a few pictures of the screen on the screen if I haven't already like I said this video is more for me and record keeping because I wanted to know when I talked to Game and Fish when I did this how, how far I'm along with it what I've done I mean, it's just been one big headache that <laughs> this bird just fell into my lap or fell into my yard and has become. It's really cool, but not what I was expecting to have happen this week. I got other stuff going on, and now I got a, pr a protect protected species in my yard that the officials told me let nature run its course, and maybe I'm a part of nature now I mean I don't know I don't know I don't even know what I'm supposed to do I just don't want to get in trouble for something I didn't even do <laughs> but alright guys I'll, I may uh, depending on what this go I'll keep y'all contacted on on the story of this of this uh, Mississippi kite hawk and uh, I'll let you know what they say if, if if they decide to come get it or if it hangs out here and becomes the hidden Bigfoot research bird I don't know I mean I'm in such uncharted territory but all right that's it that's what I've got done with this bird this moment it's this it's, it's been strange sorry for my camera jigger, jiggling around I'm normally under a hood with it but I needed this record and uh, I'm trying to think of the guy's name I have his number but that's not, I ain't gonna put it on the screen. I don't want y'all to blow him up about this bird and saying nature running its course. Because that is a part of life. I don't I don't have any problems with the guy saying that. Because he, he already has so many of them, he said, and he just can't take any more without hurting the ones he's got. <laughs> but, uh, so yeah, alright, y'all have a good day. Thank you for watching if you watch this. This this video is for me, but y'all can check it out too. It's pretty cool, and it, it's an awesome experience. And thank you for watching. Please subscribe for future updates to the the nuisance bird, the, the squatter bird. My buddy told me I should call it Stephen Hawking's. <laughs> I told him at first I just, I, I don't wear a trench coat, sunglasses, or a black trench coat, sunglasses, and slick back hair to use the name Hawk in any way. But, and I'm not, I'm just joking guys, I'm not making any, any kicks towards the Matrix, nothing like that. Just some of y'all people know what I mean. The people who think they're cool. You know, don't need someone else to tell them they're cool. They already know how cool they are. And I'm not hating either, guys. I'm not. I'm, not, I'm just making jokes. Uh, but, so yeah. Uh, I don't even know where I'm at with this, but it, it's cool. Thank you, though. Lights.